Today we're going to look at the identity property of multiplication. And much like the identity property for addition, it's pretty simple. What we're doing is look at the first statement. 3 times 1 equals 3. What that's saying is you can multiply any number times 1 and it won't lose its identity. 3 will still be 3. Or in the case of the second problem, a or any number times 1 equals any number. In other words, it doesn't lose its identity. A will still be A. So that means you can multiply any number times 1 and still get the same number. Now I will tell you there are a few little tricks. Sometimes 1 is in disguise. It may be 4 over 4. Let me show you an example of that. So if you had 2 times 4 over 4 that's really still 1. It's just in disguise. It doesn't look like 1. So you may end up with an answer which is 8 over 4. But what happens when you simplify 8 over 4? You get 2. So really, anything times 1, no matter what form it's in, will still give you that same number that you started with. That's the identity property of multiplication.